Silly. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I've never seen it for a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> my baby, my mom, I didn't know it. I had uh, braces on. Oh, you have braces? Mm-hmm. They look nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah my mom is in the Miami there. So, yeah. Yeah, I gotta see you. See you later. See ya. Love you. Clifford was born with Down syndrome. My name is Leanne and I'm Clifford Green's mother. We spent the first three months of his life at Seattle Children's Hospital. We learned a lot about what it meant to have a child with Down syndrome in those first three months. I just firmly believe that Down syndrome individuals are sent to their families to teach them because they need, need them in their lives. He's had lots of support within the community. Like even the, the months and months and months that we were at Children's Hospital, yes, we seen the bill, but we didn't pay that bill. So Lummi Tribal Health covered all of his medical costs at Children's Hospital. We've had a very good support system. Very early on, my sister and brother-in-law quite often have Clifford with them, and they would go to the winter powwows and he would sit with them and he would watch what was going on and listen to the songs and the early exposure to what our ancestors practiced and the song and the dance is so important. My name is Clifford Green. I'm from Ghanaian by Lemmy Initians. I use song and dance to something new songs that she made good thoughts. Feels good, very humble, and uh, I just like feeling happy and like dancing. We have had in the past um, Clifford Green and Sarah Thomas be a part of the Blackhawks, which they still are, even though if they're not there all the time. They participated on that, and they have that extra more pixie dust that they that they put upon the people that lifts the people up so much. How the Blackhawks interact with special needs students if they're in that class at that moment, they're receiving whatever any student is receiving in terms of culture, songs and dance. All the participations from all of that, they're a part of it. Just the singing brings, whether it's everybody out singing, it brings that sense of peace and that drum beat gives them that sense of this is my heartbeat. I think that we need to recognize that differently abled children still have gifts and talents. I just think about the work that we need to do with our children as far as finding those gifts and talents so that they can share that piece of who they are with their community so that they feel worthwhile. That's what we want, right? We want them to all feel worthwhile. So it's allowing them that time to grow and the community supporting that and not trying to push in on them, but to allow them to be and just to be a part of the community, the family, the group. His paddle vest is made specially for him. We designed it, but because trisomy 21 is the triplication of the 21st um, chromosome, his paddle vest has three rows of 21 paddles on the back. And I know it's quite heavy, but we wanted it to be um, special because that's what we want to do. That's what we've been doing as much as we can, advocating for him, um, advocating for inclusion and acceptance. And it's been, I mean, everyone has accepted him. He's danced with the Blackhawks, but he also acknowledges his ties to the Flatimish singers and dancers and the West Shore group. We have family re relations to all of the canoe families, so he's with dances with them all. He's had literally all but two drums gifted to him in his life because people have seen him participating. Uh, we've been like at other gatherings too where he's it's just very candid and he's meeting somebody new and he's talking to them and then they'll come to me and they'll say wow he's really knowledgeable about who he is and who he comes from. It gives me hope 
for the future and for our youth because there's so many of our youth out there participating and, and they're proud to be who they are. I think I am my best man. If I only want an option, 